what is resonance? Eh? If we have an oscillating system, and if external force is given to the oscillating system, okay, then that's called the force oscillations, right? The force oscillations. Eh? Okay, now, if the external force also has a frequency, and the frequency of the external force is equal to the natural frequency of these pendulums, then what will happen? What will happen is that these pendulums, it will oscillate with maximum amplitude. And this, okay, these things, eh, if there's external force, the frequency of the external force equal to the natural frequency, and the system oscillate with the maximum amplitude, we call this resonance. So res what is resonance? Resonance is a phenomenon or the tendency of an oscillating system oscillates with very high amplitude because there is an external force. And the frequency of the external force is equal to the natural frequency. So what is resonance by definition? Okay? Uh, this is a uh, frequently asked questions in exam, okay? Usually your first test or first exam, your teacher will ask you about the definition for resonance. So to define resonance, there are three keywords. Tendency, oscillate at greater amplitude, frequency of the external force equal to the natural frequency, okay? So what is resonance? Resonance is the tendency of a force oscillating system. It's a force oscillating system because external force is given, eh? external force is given. So resonance is the tendency of a force oscillating system to oscillate at a greater amplitude, oscillate at a greater amplitude, eh? okay? When the frequency of the external force is equal to the natural frequency of the system. So always remember, resonance is caused by force, oscillating, force oscillations, okay, force oscillating system. You must have an external force, okay? And when the frequency of the external force is, is the same as the natural frequency, then this object, it will start vibrates or oscillates with a greater and greater amplitude. And that is called resonance. Now, requirement for the resonance to happen, sir, okay? Uh, the requirement is that this must be a force oscillations and the frequency of the external force is equal to the natural frequency of the systems. And this is also the frequently asked questions. So the requirement for resonance to happen. Examples of resonance. Now the first example is this. Tacoma Narrow Bridge. Okay, Tacoma Narrow Bridge is a bridge built in uh, Tacoma, United States of America. The original bridge, now we have another new one, okay? Another, this is another new bridge there, okay? But the original Tacoma Bridge, uh, it collapsed in 1940, four months after openings, the openings of the traffic. Okay? and it's due to resonance, okay? That is because there's a wind blow, okay? There's a wind blow around this, uh, the bridge, okay? And the frequency, because when the wind blow, it will generate sound, yeah? okay? The wind blows across the cable here and uh, uh, the, the frictions between the bridge, yeah? it generates sound and the frequency of the sound wave, the frequency is the same as the natural frequency of the bridge. Same as the natural frequency of the bridge. And as a result, the bridge vibrate with higher and higher am amplitudes. Eh? And then uh, finally, the bridge uh, collapsed. Okay, uh, excessive noise from a uh, moving bars. Eh? Okay, sometimes if you talk bars, I think so sometimes uh, maybe you have experienced this. Some buses, it will shake vigorously at certain speed, okay, due to resonance. That is because uh, the bus also has a natural frequency, and then the, if the natural frequency of the bus is equal to the frequency of the engine at certain speed, okay, then the bus will uh, shake uh, with uh, very high amplitude due to resonance. Uh, for example, let's say the speed is 90 kilometers per hour, okay, 90 kilometers per hour. Huh? You will find that below 90 kilometers per hour is fine, nothing happens. Huh? But when the speed reach 90 kilometers per hour, then the bus will shake vigorously, okay. 
But if it's higher than 90, let's say the speed become 100 dense, the bus becomes stable again. So less than 90 is okay, more than 90 is okay, but exactly at 90 then it, it, it vibrates with a very high amplitude. And that is because uh, that's due to resonance. Okay, so that's another example. Eh?